Hey everyone, it's CL. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8, I think it is. So right now I'm taking a break from work. I am taking this as my like lunch. So what I'm doing right now is I decided that since I'm going to California for Christmas, that one of the things I really hate about traveling is having to like carry around your big old luggage and then if it's a carry-on you have to like fight with people for space so my thinking was that i was going to order um some clothes online and have them sent to my parents house so then i can kind of take very little on the plane just take like the things that i need and then as far as the clothes coming back i'll just leave it at my parents house and that can just be my stockpile of clothes that I'll have there for when I visit and hopefully I will visit um, more often because that's something I really do want to do. So that is my plan that I'm going to order some clothes um, and just have it sent there and hopefully it will arrive in time. I'm pretty confident that it will arrive in time. And as far as shipping, a lot of places right now are doing like deals where you get free shipping so i'm hoping that that won't be a big deal if anything the one thing that i should probably worry about is one our packages getting stolen because um that's not uncommon especially around like holidays people know that like big packages are coming in the mail and they're just like taking them off um off of your property like they just walk up and take it you know so hopefully i won't have any stolen packages and hopefully my deliveries will arrive on time. I will definitely use the calendars that um, the checkout provides. Like, oh, okay, if you order today, you'll, like, you can expect it by this date. So hopefully I can rely on those. But then again, it is the Christmas season in which um, there's a lot of packages being shipped. So we shall see. But ideally, that's what I want to do. So I don't have to like worry about figuring out how much I'm going to bring and and worrying about luggage and all that. I can just ship it there, not have to worry about it um, and be done with it really. So that is what I'm gonna do for the next hour or two. So at work, I'm where I'm at at work, I'm in a pretty good place. So I don't feel like I need to stay extra late or anything. All right, so we're about to go watch some anime. I popped some popcorn for me and the little one. And I had seen earlier when I was watching my YouTube videos that Melissa Books posted that there was an anime of Black Butler. So I looked it up and there is. So I have to go watch it now and see if it's any good. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so we just finished episode one and I realized that I'm pronouncing the main character's name wrong for like 23 volumes. Um, yeah, I guess it's pronounced CL, but I've been pronouncing his name Seal. I'm not sure which one I like because uh, now I'm so accustomed to calling him Seal, but now I find out it's like a French name, CL. So, and now my daughter's laughing at me because I've been getting his name wrong the entire time. And then as we were watching it, because I'm watching it with my daughter, I was like, oh gosh, is this, is this okay for her to watch? Or are you not allowed to watch this? I guess we'll see. I will have to cover her eyes or cover her under the blanket if there's some scary stuff going on. I asked her if she was scared during certain, certain parts and she goes, no, I like scary stuff. She's a crazy kid. Hey everyone, it is the end of the night and I'm starting to wind down. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder right now. I'm not using any extra lighting, so it's just like the regular lighting from the room and for some reason my head looks super big right now. I don't know. I don't know, it looks really big to me right now. But anyways, so I'm gonna wind down and I'm gonna read this manga here, Orange. Um, I've been perusing videos today and this 
manga has come up more than once, so I think it's a sign that I should start reading it. And I was, you know what? And I was sitting here thinking of how vlogging is like really hard. You really have to be on your game as far as getting the camera ready, even though you're you're not really doing anything interesting. Um, and that part is like the hardest part, you know remembering to take out the camera or having that desire to take out the camera to, to just remember to film things. And then I was thinking about how much I like watching other people's vlogs and I think I realize now like why I like watching other people's vlogs a lot and I subscribe to a lot of people that post vlogs and I think I realized that for myself, you know when you're in like in high school and college, um, you're naturally surrounded by a lot of people and you, you naturally pick up, pick up on their background chatter like the um, stuff that's up and coming, places they've been to, where they got things. You just naturally pick up on that chatter and then it, you learn things through that way. And as you become to be an adult, you're surrounded by the same people the majority of the time, right? Um, and I think that's why I like vlogs so much is because when I watch other people's vlogs, I learn a lot of different things like Chris and Giselle's vlog from Giselle alone. I've learned like different hairstyles that she's shown us, new recipes. I learned that you can get like spices from the dollar store. I, I used to never go down that aisle. So I didn't know that you could buy like spices there. So now that she has shown us that, I get a lot of spices from the dollar store. Um, and they're, it's, you know, it's a really good price. And then, um, especially like other vloggers that, that travel way more than I do. I learn of like places they've been to, like I have an ongoing list. Um, Japan is one of the places I really want to visit before I die. And then when I see like other people posting videos of what they did in Japan, what they ordered at what restaurant, places they visited like the aquarium, like those are all things that I end up writing down because they look really cool and interesting. It's one thing to just see it on the internet, but it's another thing to see like footage from someone's vlog and them talking about their experience and what they like, what they didn't like. So I think that's why I really love watching other people's vlogs. So hopefully one day if I continue to vlog a little bit in the future, maybe hopefully I'll get better at it. Um, maybe one day for whoever's watching, maybe you'll pick up on something um, that I show one day. So and I think that would be really cool, you know, we're learning from each other. So that was just like one thing out of many that was just running through my mind as I'm getting ready to wind down. So, might be a short video today again, so... I don't wanna mess up my streak though. I was thinking, I was like, gosh, I went so far with Vlogmas, I don't wanna mess up my streak. Even if it's gonna be like a super, super boring video, I'm gonna keep posting until Christmas because I want to have my streak continue. So thank you for watching. Um, We'll see what I have tomorrow, but thank you for watching and I'll see you later.